What's up back? My name is Will21 and this is the Minecraft mod install for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders from Minecraft version 1.2.3. Gonna take you through the entire process. This is a clean install of the mod, which means we're going to remove your old Minecraft and start with a fresh version. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to back up your Minecraft files. If you do not follow this process, you will lose all of your Minecraft information world saves, texture packs, all that fun stuff. The first thing that we're gonna do is the bottom left hand corner of the screen, you're gonna click on the start and start search. You're going to type in percent sign, app data, percent sign, and hit enter. It's gonna open up your app data roaming folder. What you're gonna do is you're going to double click on the dot Minecraft folder. This is where all your Minecraft files are contained. What you're gonna do is you're going to click and drag or hit Control A on your keyboard to highlight everything within the .minecraft folder. You're going to right click and choose copy. Next thing we're going to do is you're going to right click on your desktop or your place of choosing, go to new and folder, and name it MC Backup or your name of choosing. Once it's done, you're going to double click on it to open it. You're gonna right click in that folder or hit Control V, paste. It's going to back up all your Minecraft files. Once that is complete, you can close out of your backup folder. It'll bring you back to your .minecraft folder and you're going to highlight everything again if it's not already highlighted. And you're going to delete everything within there. Once that is complete, you can keep this .minecraft folder open. You, what you're going to do is you're going to launch Minecraft. You're going to enter in your username and password. and you're going to log in. This is going to re-download all the files for Minecraft. Once this is complete, it's gonna go into Minecraft and it's gonna verify that the version is Minecraft version 1.2.3. It says 1.2.3. We're going to exit out of Minecraft. All the files are now have downloaded for the new version, or clean version of Minecraft. Down below are the links for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, version 1.2.3, actually version 6, which is compatible for Minecraft version 1.2.3. Also for Optifine, which is required for the shaders, uh, Sonic Unbelievable Shaders. The other application we'll be using is 7-Zip. Link is down below. It's a free application, unless you have WinRAR. But for all my tutorials, I use 7-Zip. It's, it's a free application. First thing that we're going to do is we're going to download Optifine. So you go down to the Optifine link. We're going to use the standard. You can use either smooth or multi-core, depending on whatever runs faster for your system. Installs are all the same way, but we're going to install standard. You're going to click on the download link and download that file. Also for the same, for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, you're going to go to this form link. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to choose the download link for Windows, and there's also everyone else. Um, this is a Windows version install, so if you've got Windows, then this is how you install it. <coughs> you click download, it downloads the RAR file. So you're gonna have your two files. You're gonna have Optifine and Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, which is a RAR file. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to ins install Optifine because that's what's required first. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on the bin folder within your .minecraft folder. Your .minecraft folder should still be open. If it's not, you can click on start and type in percent sign app data percent and double click on the .minecraft folder. Once this is open, you're going to double click on the bin folder. You're going to look for a file called Minecraft. You're going to right click on that Minecraft file, choose 7-zip and open archive. I'll drag this over to the left. You're gonna look for a folder called meta-inf, all in caps. You're gonna click on it once to highlight it and press delete on your keyboard because we need to remove it. While keeping this open, what we're gonna do is we're going to right click on the Optifine RAR, choose 7-zip and open archive. 
I'm going to put these side by side. What you're going to do is you're going to hit Control A on your keyboard to highlight all the class files and the PNG within the Optifine zip. What you're going to do is you're going to click and drag all of these files to the left hand side where the other dot class files are and drop it off. And you can confirm file copy. You're going to hit yes. Do not, I repeat, do not copy them into any other subfolders within the Minecraft jar. Always copy them onto the dot class as specified. Now, since Optifine is installed, we can close out of the Optifine zip. We can also close out of the Minecraft.jar because Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders has its own installation. Next thing we do, we can also close out of the, the bin folder for the .minecraft folder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders RAR file, choose 7-zip and open archive. You're going to see the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders version 6. You're going to click extract and it's the desktop. We're going to hit OK. It's going to, and we can close out of this RAR file. It's Okay, what you do is you're going to see the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder on your desktop. You're going to double click on the Shaders folder. You're going to double click on the Installer. And you're going to see yes if you do see any warnings that pop up in your system. Now what I notice from this mod is that you have to go to Downloadable Mods. Right click on the Shaders right here and choose Download. It says this will overwrite a previous copy of Shaders. Is this, is this okay? Hit yes. Once that's done, there's really no other warning for that. Go to Local Mods and click Install Mods. Once that is done, that's to say Installation Complete, you can close out of that application and close out of that folder. Now we can launch Minecraft. I'm going to log in. Create New World. Create New World. It's going to generate a new world. I'm going to plop it in Minecraft. And look at that. I always got to change the Oops. Music. Sound down. Okay. And look at that. We got some shading going on already. So make sure that you do choose from the download mods tab. You right click and choose download. And to overwrite the previous download. Because for some reason, if you don't, you're going to get some weird uh, focusing. Um from the shaders mod from what I've noticed um, so as, as long as you as long as you download it and install it that way then you should have no problems now we got actual shadows and also it's Optifine's installed also so now you can zoom in by hitting control so you get the benefits of both okay that's, that's verified and installed I'm going to close Minecraft also from your backup folder you can go to your saves, and you can also copy your previous worlds. You just right click and choose copy from your world folder, from your saves folder. Go back into the percent app data percent. Double click on the .minecraft folder, go into saves, right click and choose paste. Your world is back in there. You can go back into Minecraft, log in. Single player, choose your world that you just copied back over from your backups. And now we got the shaders mod with your previous world. I hope this has helped you out. All links are in the description below. I very much appreciate a like and a favorite if this has helped you out. Please leave a comment on how this worked out for you. My name is Wolf21, and as always, remember to rock on.